Now, the, uh, the little calculator function is called FNINT. Uh, I believe that the textbook calls it uh, by one different letter because the book's not allowed to officially use like a TI, Texas Instruments, command. But it's a command. It's on your calculator. And it's called FNINT. It stands for Function Integral. Uh, basically, it's going to find the integral. Okay, now before you get too excited, uh, as many things that we do this year, you still need to know how to do the problem using calculus. And right now, the calculus that we're using is like a geometry method. And again, it's good stuff. It enabled you guys to think about this exit ticket also. By the way, nice job with the exit ticket. Uh, but sometimes these last two problems, especially number eight, kids are kind of like, I don't know. And, you know, for some of you, you I didn't quite get it right. But um, I just want to use this FNINT in a conversation on, on these to show you that we can get it. The, the area of the regular sine wave is two. So what happens if that area seems to like spread out? Does it actually just take the same space and does it just spread it out to still equal two? Or does it maybe spread out to, to double. Um, but let's, let's use this F9 T um, so that we can kind of see. On a regular TI, it's in the math menu. So make sure you're comfortable with the math button. There's a lot of goodies in there, but it's down near the bottom. Now, if you have a newer calculator, when you hit enter here, you're going to get more like a, a nice screen with like a symbol, and you're going to put the numbers in uh, just the same way that you would have seen it um, written as an integral. My calculator doesn't have that cute symbol, but we're all still going to type in the same four things. We're going to type in the function. Let's, let's do number eight from the exit ticket. So it's the sine of pi over two. And then you're going to type, for mine, I have to type a comma, but then you're going to type an X. Those of you that have the cutesy calculator, you're just going to put an X for the DX. And then you can probably guess what the last two things are. It's just A to B. For number eight, it was zero to pi, or excuse me, to two pi. So I have to use commas. Some of you are just putting these four things in the four boxes, but you put the function, comma x, comma a, comma b. Now, your calculator should be in radians since this is a trig function. I'm going to double check that. But... Um, Oh, I had too many parentheses. So we end up with, what's going on here? We end up with 2 pi. That wasn't the answer. Did I copy the right problem? Does anybody see anything? This is strange. I know it was a whole day ago. We did use the calculator correctly. Oh my gosh. I'll give a quarter figuratively. Do you see what I did? It was hard to find, but it's not a parenthesis. Probably the most exciting thing you'll do today. Try to find the mistake here. It's, I'll remember this one. I put a pie there. <laughs> it's, oh, well, of course I have a pie there. What? Oh. All right, that wasn't that interesting. I, I copied the problem wrong. That was actually where the mistake was. All right, X over two. Anyway, F and I and T. And maybe you remember the answer to number eight. A lot of you got it right. Nice job. It was four. Because what's really happening is my area is doubling since my length, my space is doubling. So it was x over 2, not pi over 2. And then we could do f and i and t for uh, number 9. Um, maybe you remember what you wrote down. I actually have the sketch recreated there. Does the, uh, does the f and i and t confirm what you figured out using some, some geometry kind of thinking yesterday. Well, it does. 
uh, you want to understand that sometimes the graphing calculator goes through certain functions in the background, and uh, here it's having trouble displaying what it really means. That is zero. Okay, that would be point zero 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 fourteen times until I get to negative three. Again, the answer to that is zero. As you can see from the sketch that you guys made, we just have two areas that cancel each other out. But uh, I want to show you F and I and T. You're you're allowed to use it, okay? When sort of when called upon. Um, in this assignment, it's at the end of the assignment. It's only the last few problems. Um, could you use this to check some answers, kind of like we did right here? Yeah, you could check some answers. You still want to draw the sketches. You still want to show the geometry. As I, it probably won't surprise you, I'll have you do some problems like this someday without a calculator. So you should be able to, to go through those steps. Don't just use F and I and T uh, for every answer.